Morning y'all. Don't mind me. I'm preparing to paint the ceiling. Most important, I'm gonna do a coop simple how to get rid of your text neck. You're not gonna see much because I'm putting on a monkey suit because I'm also gonna try not to be covered in paint because my hair still has paint in it from last week's fiasco. Anyway, as you can see, it's peeling still. So it's gonna get on the walls. At this point, I don't care. But watch and learn how to remove your text neck by painting your nine foot ceiling. Anyway, let's get this done. Y'all keep watching. two coats in the living room kitchen. Tore down the plastic and you can see where I whacked the wall in multiple places. Mostly where the stuff was coming down, but we're gonna have crown molding and we're still, still gonna do some touching up and what have you in here with the ceiling. Just like in here, as you saw my goggles were completely covered, but I knew this first section needed to have another coat. So I did this from that seam right there over, I did another coat and I hit the wall. Duh. Anyway, my coop simple how to get the text neck out of your neck, paint the ceiling, how not to get covered in paint. As you can see, my paint suit did not work. I got one of those painter suits that is obviously too thin instead of a Tyvek, but it worked. Most of these washable. Y'all keep watching. Okay, y'all, here we go. We're gonna get back at it. It's another great day that the Lord has made. And we're gonna get to work in here, working on these ceilings, because they're driving me crazy. And we gotta get that done before we, you know, we don't wanna put down the floors and all that stuff and not have the ceilings done. So we're gonna get busy on that. Nana's painting the closets. Point. Plain, painting the closet ceilings. Once she gets that done, then I'll be able to put the light fixtures in. So we're moving along. Y'all keep watching. We're gonna get back to work. Hey y'all, well, here we are. <laughs> I haven't made it very far in, on this ceiling. It's time consuming, crick in the neck. So I've been taking breaks and it still looks pretty bad, but uh, hopefully when I get it painted, it's gonna look better. We'll see. All right, y'all keep watching, let's get back to work. Okay y'all, there you go, I think that's it for today. You gotta let all the spackling that I used up on the ceiling, gotta let that stuff dry and then tomorrow I'll come back, give it a quick sand with the Orville sander and kind of smooth it out, make sure there's no other major spots I need to get and then we'll put a coat of paint on it. Hopefully we get all that done tomorrow, but I also gotta work on this side of the ceiling tomorrow. So we'll, s oh, actually I gotta go to the J-O-B tomorrow. So I don't know how much we're gonna get done tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, wanted to get more done this week than that, but we'll see. All right, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you later. Hey, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. Get back on these ceilings. I had the J-O-B yesterday, so it didn't get much done. Nana did a bunch of cleaning around here. Got that taken care of. So we're gonna get on the ceiling so we can get the ceilings done, and then we can get the floors done, and then we can get the baseboards done, and then we can start moving stuff in, hopefully pretty soon, I don't know. I mean, I still got to get the air conditioner unit put in here, so we'll see. But today, I'm going to be working on the ceilings. Nana's doing her second least favorite thing. I don't know where it rates, but anyway, she's painting the closets, putting another coat on there, getting that squared away, and then 
once she gets all that done, she's doing touch up painting, yada yada, then paint the ceiling. All right, enough rambling. Y'all keep watching. We're gonna get back to work. Okay y'all, there you go, that's it for today. What a mess. And it's still gonna be a mess, but it is what it is. We're gonna deal with it, live with it for a while. Who knows how long, but we're gonna deal with it. So I've almost got this side ready to paint again, to repaint, but I had to do a couple of touch-ups on this seam right here. And this last seam over here looks pretty good actually. I think that one's done, but I think this one I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work on. And I think everything else is good relative. And I think that's it. This side over here, I've got started. And hopefully tomorrow I'll get that finished up. And maybe we can paint in here Friday. We'll see. All right, you guys keep watching. See you tomorrow. Hey, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You should be too. We're getting back on this ceiling in here. Hopefully I'll get it to a point where we can paint it today. We'll see. I don't know, I'm dealing with a little tendonitis in the elbow and it is extremely painful working over my head. So it is what it is, we gotta get it done. So let's get back to work. Well, good morning, y'all. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You should be too. We got some rain last night, which we appreciate. Thank the good Lord for that. Hopefully we'll, he'll send us some more. We're supposed to be getting some more on Monday. We'll see. It's getting cold, y'all. I got my sweatshirt on. But today we're gonna get back to our bedroom ceiling. Hopefully I can finish getting this thing sanded out. I just got this little piece right here to do. Get that sanded out and then hopefully we'll get this thing painted today. All right, y'all keep watching. I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, y'all finally got the sanding done on this ceiling, finally. So now we're ready to paint this bad boy again. So we will take care of that later. But right now, I got something else I need to work on. And that is our network, right? So when we got, we're in a big metal building and our router is right up there. Where's that? There's this. Our router's right up there. Big metal building, metal roll down door, starting to get cold. So we gotta keep that door closed and we're staying in a camper outside. So we're not getting very good signal strength outside. So we're gonna swap over from this Netgear router to a mesh network system. And our service, our internet service provider sent us these units by Linksys, Linksys mesh network. So that's what we're gonna put in. And I'm gonna set that stuff up today because i'm going out of town next week and i want nana to be hooked up with the internet all right you guys keep watching i gotta get back to work okay y'all well we got the wi-fi hooked back up finally kind of got it setting up there and it's a mesh so i got another node up there i don't know how well you can see it up there so we can get better service out in the camper so that's it they said it's supposed to be plug and play yeah it wasn't that simple but i finally figured it out got it set up so now i think i'm going to come in here and put the light fixture in this room right here i think that's what i'm fixing to do next y'all keep watching Take it back to work All right, y'all, there you go. There's the light in the laundry room. 
on to the next thing. Not sure what that is yet, but I'll let you know. Hey, good morning, y'all. Check it out. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Nana will too, and you should be too. We are getting ready to take a little break, I guess, from working this morning. And we're getting ready to film Nana's $5 jar challenge. If you had not seen those videos, check them out. We'll put a link to the playlist. We do a $5 jar challenge every year and use that money for Christmas. So y'all keep watching. We're gonna get back to work filming this video. Here we go. Okay y'all, there you go. Man has been cleaning up, as you see. My battery died, so I had to change the battery. But that's a little behind the scenes look at how we make our videos. Well, at least the $5 jar challenge video. So you guys make sure you check that out. You can check out the past years if you want, if you're interested or not, whatever. But I think that's, uh, that's all we got right now. We're gonna be doing some other stuff today, but we're not sure what at this point. We gotta figure it out. Y'all keep watching. Morning, y'all. Welcome back. Pops went on the road yesterday and left me to paint this bedroom ceiling that he worked so hard on on his entire vacation last week. So I got his preferred ladder out for electrical. Don't worry, I'll move it off and I'll put it back before he gets home. He left the scaffold in here, so I'm gonna use it. Got some plastic scraps, but brand new tape because as you saw when we taped these rooms off last week or the week before, that nothing stayed on the wall. So I got brand new, different brand of tape. I got the Ace brand instead of Scott and Duct brand, which have never failed me before, but you saw it fail. Got my little ladder out. I got a ladder so I can get up there if I need to. I only need to tape off the two ends and that length right there. I don't need to tape over here because that'll have wood trim some other time later. And I don't know why I didn't think of it before, press and seal makes a great protector without tape and stuff. So I might actually try to do some press and seal first. I don't have a lot left, but it's to the point where I don't need it. I need to get a new one. It's just a little scrap. So I'm probably gonna try my press and seal on the wall. But it's cold, it's raining, we needed it. Winter, that's what it's supposed to do. It's a great day to work inside. Let me get started preparing. All right, y'all, I had my press and seal up there and I had some scrap uh, black plastic from when I painted the exterior doors last year when it was still cold and rainy. So I piecemealed that together. I'm going to go get my hair put up and then hope that that, since it's been a week since I touched it last, is not all dry and crusty and then paint these ceilings. Getting closer y'all. I'll be back. That is two more coats of ceiling paint. I hooked the corner of my press and seal. I should have taken my time. It was folded over because it was the end of the roll. I hooked the corner and drug it out. So hopefully that won't be so bad, but there's gonna be a trim board eventually up there. For the most part, the tape held. You can see right over there, it didn't hold. I don't know what's going on. And yes, I splattered on the walls and I'm pretty sure my painter's suit didn't completely keep me safe. But I'm hoping my hair remained paint free because I'm tired of getting paint out of my hair. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it alone, let it sit, put a fan in 